Good morning, Business Athlete Nation. Hey, your morning alarm clock is here. Keith Billis joining your mornings in the live with Keith and Nicole. Nicole's working her way here. She had a morning workout this morning that the, the gym was a little late. You know, we talk here in the lab, but it takes no talent to be on time. Well, well, clearly the guy running the gym today was running a few moments behind. So Nicole will be joining us in a few moments this morning. Naomi Rose Everly is here to bust up Nicole's LinkedIn profile. I'm excited about that. She is going to... I don't know if she knows what she's getting herself into. Oh, hey, the camera worked this morning. I was, I was having problems yesterday. So Naomi Rose Everly joining us here in a few moments this morning. She is going to bust up Nicole's LinkedIn profile. Now, she did mine a couple days ago. So if you have a LinkedIn profile and you're wondering if it's good or not, you want to listen in on today's show because Naomi Rose is going to bust it up, bust it down, tear it down, and help you improve your LinkedIn game. That, that's what she does. Naomi Rose which she improves LinkedIn games. So I have not gotten fully around to updating mine yet. So, you know, we met a couple days ago. She's walking into the lab today. She's like, hey, Keith, yeah? You, you didn't fix your profile yet. <laughs> no, I haven't fixed my profile yet. So coming up later today, Naomi Rose Everly, we are going to do a LinkedIn profile review. We're going to tear it down, and then we're going to help Nicole optimize it. Because here's what's in it for you guys. Have some coffee here. What's in it for you guys is we're going to do this weekly. So not Naomi's, Naomi's an expert in this. She's been around the game for a long time. Stumbled on her feed here a couple days ago. And I'm like, hey, you want to come in the lab and help me create some content, partner up with me and, and do some great stuff? And she's like, sure. So she jumped in. She did a review with me. And she's agreed to come back regularly. So if you have a LinkedIn profile, you're wondering whether it's good, bad, <clears throat> mediocre, Naomi will bring it down for you, break it down for you, tear it down for you, and help you build it up. No cost. Zero cost to you. It's free. It's just not going to cost you nothing, just your time. So I invite you. Yeah, that, sorry, pipes. Sorry, carts. Sorry, Brookie. Old dad's bringing out the accents this morning here in the lab. So I invite you to submit your name in the ballot box. You know, the ballot box. Yeah, you put your name on the old chit, drop it in the box. That's how we'll draw your name to decide whether you uh, qualify to have your LinkedIn review optimized. So I invite you to I invite you to sign up for that experience coming up real soon. All right, so while we're waiting for Nicole, I want to talk about a post that I'm putting up here in a few moments here this morning up on LinkedIn. And it is around this idea. Where's my camera here this morning? I'm just kind of, mm, there we go. If you're listening to me, Keith's just kind of all over this. All right, so the ambition with this show, the purpose for this show is to give you guys a reason to get your day going. That morning alarm clock, the accountability clock. I'll tell you, Nicole helped me be accountable this morning. I had a workout plan for the morning, typical Thursday. Thursday, I do cardio, shoulders, stretch, upper body workout for the most part. But today, I, I don't know, dogs are up early. I knew Nicole was getting it this morning. She's uh, on her on her path to 100-day journey. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get going early today. So I got going early today. Did a little bit of an audible, got going early. So if you're just tuning in right now, or if you're pondering what you're going to do today, maybe you're in London. What's shaking my friend Dom? Maybe you're just wondering what you're going to do today. Well, your day's half over. All it takes is to grab 30 minutes of your day to get something done today. Right? Get a stretch, get a walk, get a lift in, do something to move yourself forward. The most important thing. And here's the thing. <laughs> here's a secret. If you did nothing for the rest of the day except take care of yourself, how's that the worst thing? How, how is it bad? <laughs> you, you may not think that you accomplished something, but your body, your mind, back when you're in your 100s, because we're all living to 100 now, when you're 100 one day, you're going to be thanking me, going, yeah, that, that time Keith just said, just accept it. It's true. So recognize that if you just got something done today and you did nothing, you sat on the couch, you hung out with your dogs, hung out with your kids, you didn't do nothing for work, but you just simply took care of your own body today, You've accomplished something. 
I cannot, I cannot, cannot encourage you enough to think that way. Don't get caught up in everything else. Nothing else is actually that important. And now, oh yeah, yeah, Keith, I got to go pay for my bills. Sure, I got to pay bills too. But my bills don't matter when I'm dying on my deathbed because I didn't take care of myself today. So not not trying to, you know, scold or, or tell anybody what to do. But just encourage you guys to give yourself some thoughts what you're going to get done today. All right, so now Miro Everly is coming up today. What else do we got today? We also have, we're going to, I have five awesome fitness challenges you can try. You can try in a single day. So, you know, I, I read the Box Rock stuff. I read Men's Health. I read a bunch of publications, right? So I feel like I'm like the master curator. I'm going to present to you what I'm reading, present ideas to you to consider, right? So again, our role here in the lab is to entertain, inform, suggest ideas, make recommendations, make suggestions, and and see what you grab. That's 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 what the op. That's what that's what we're doing here. So I got I got five awesome fitness challenges you can try today. So if you're wondering what you're going to do today, I got five fitness challenges you can consider. That's something coming up for you today. Also, if we have time, do you intermittent fast? <clears throat> I I do. I do. And apparently, apparently, where's that camera? There it is right there. Apparently, an expert reveals that intermittent fasting could be doing not good things to your brain. As a matter of fact, we might be dying quicker than those that don't intermittent fast. So there's a hook. If you haven't saw the headline or read the headline or come across your your world here, I would encourage you to dig into that. I'm going to talk a little bit about it uh, later this morning, about that idea that intermittent fasting could be doing damage to your brain, and we don't even know it. it I, I love science, right? It's like every year we are, you know, moving moving forward with it's learning new things, right? So we grew up in the, you know, we grew up in the 80s, 90s where, you know, fat was no good. We can't have fat. Don't have fat. Fat will kill you. Pull all the fat out of everything and add everything with sugar or no sweeteners or however you want to call it, right? Now, it's just, we're, we're always shifting. So I think it's important that we're always kind of adopting this new science that comes along the way as we're learning about it, right? So intermittent fasting might not be good. But here's the thing, <laughs> Oy. it works for me. Like I enjoy it. Do I enjoy it enough to kill me? No. So I will educate myself, research, understand, learn, and then make decisions accordingly. All right, so I'm gonna take a break here in a couple moments. Hey, did you guys remember what I told you yesterday, earlier this week, Bapple HQ? The world's first, the world's first hybrid remote workspace for creators, entrepreneurs, business leaders, remote workers, hybrid workers. If you're listening to me, you're a remote worker, you're a hybrid worker, you're an entrepreneur, and you want to hang out, you want to spend some time working together with me, well, come join Bapple HQ. It's the world's first hybrid gym. That's the metaphor. It's a place where you will come achieve your biggest goals and get better. How? You're going to run into incredible people in this facility, this remote facility. You'll learn, you'll accomplish big goals. So I invite you to check out Bapple HQ. Coming up, you're going to see more material from us in the coming days regarding Bapple HQ, but it's built on Rome. And if you don't know about Rome, I would encourage you to check out ro.am, Rome, the world's first virtual office it is exceptional and if you haven't checked it out i oh i i don't know if i gave my guests the Streamyard link so <laughs> we're gonna get naomi into the lab here in a second and give it over to, to nicole as well she's gonna jump in here so i'm gonna prop, prop us over to a break here in a second before we bring naomi rose into the lab do, 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 so that's what we're, we're gonna get a break stick around for a minute hey if you're it's 7-eleven right now Oh, I love 7-Eleven, actually. It's like the, you want to you see the future of retail, convenience retail. Just go spend time at 7-Eleven. Merchandising, the way they display things. A lot going on in there. It's not just quick convenience food. Okay, so I'm going to put you aside for a minute. I'm going to come back. We're going to bring Naomi Rose into the lab. 
And we're going to kick into optimizing your LinkedIn profile with nine euros. And I want to talk when I get right back here, we're going to talk about choosing action over complaining. Too many of us complain. I have an idea, a suggestion. Let's take action instead. Okay, I'll be back in a minute to continue the conversation. Mornings in the lab with Keith Nicole. All right, I'm back. I got to tell you, LinkedIn Nation, you guys are exceptional. You guys are exceptional. Showing up on time, showing up in the lab, joining me for conversation. I am loving the company. And I invite you all to join the conversation along the way. Ooh, Naomi just popped into the green room here. It's her own green room. I saw her pull the old paint roller out here last week. So she's going to join us here in a couple of moments. But before I welcome Naomi into the lab, what are you doing today? Have you thought about choosing some action or are you too busy complaining about things? Because I got something you might want to consider. So in my experience, and I would suggest many others experience it, self-doubt is as common as breathing, right? We all have that self-doubt. Can I do this? Can I do that? Am I good at this? Am I not good at that? We talked yesterday about imposter syndrome. I, I know that self-doubt has hit me as an entrepreneur. No matter how experienced we are, no matter how many gray hairs I got coming out of my skull or out of my face, you know, that self-doubt, it's hidden. But it also sparks growth. It prompts that introspection. It signals, well, it signals to me areas for improvement. Think about it. Think about it. So if you've ever doubted yourself, would you ever feel that urge to do better or are you just going to pack it in? I, I, I don't know. Those inner, you know. Those inner questions we have, they suck, right? What if I fail? What will people think? It's funny when we started the show, putting ourselves out there, like, what are people going to think? I'm just getting up every single morning with all you guys having coffee and just kind of putting myself out there. I get a note from my friend Dom yesterday saying, Keith, I, I can't keep up with all the content you're creating. Like, what are they thinking? It doesn't matter to me what they're thinking. I have a mission. I have a purpose. I'm building something special. Do I have what it takes? I do. And am I really cut out for this? Because I know you are. If you're asking yourself the question right now, am I cut out for what I'm doing right now? You are. And I'll tell you, if you're asking yourself, am I cut out for what I'm doing right now based on my LinkedIn profile? Well, coming up in a few moments, Naomi Rose Everly is going to break down Nicole's and perhaps break down yours to help you answer that question, whether you're cut out for it. So what I'm telling you, nation, what I'm telling you, business athlete nation, is that you can't, Make the doubt disappear. It ain't going to disappear I, based on experience. There's gray hairs here, right? So if I have a couple of years on you, I can tell you right now that this, the doubt ain't disappearing. But you can change the doubt and putting into positive action. Let me make some suggestions or recommendations how you might want to consider putting your own self-doubt into action, especially if you're starting your day with me right now, mornings in the lab with Keith and Nicole. And if you have that self-doubt, I'll give you something to think about. Why don't you just accept it? Get curious. Get fearful. I, I'm sorry, not fearful. Get curious. Not fearful. Don't be scared of that doubt. Be curious about it. Learn where it's coming from. Because if you understand it, it's easier to overcome it. And hey, get inspired. If this show helps you be inspired, if my 
energy helps you be inspired, then we're winning. So put the doubt aside, take action, get inspired, find real life stories of success, despite the doubt. We have real life stories on this show every single day in the morning and then noon, live in the lab with Keith Billis. I had David Bush on my show. The guy lost a hundred pounds. Changed his life, lost a hundred pounds. <laughs> Don't tell me we can't be inspired. So if you need a story to get moving, all I can do is encourage you to tune in at lunchtime or dial into any of our shows. There are stories after stories of human beings changing their lives and inspiring them. So get inspired. Build your tribe. If you find yourself surrounded by negativity, change it. Make a pivot. Build a tribe of humans who choose action over complaining. And be selfish about who you surround yourself with. That's hard. I know it's hard to surround yourself with people that only drive positive action instead of negative action. But I challenge you, if you're hanging out with people that are pulling you down, you're either going to get pulled down or you got to get rid of them. So build your tribe. The future self will thank you. Set actionable goals. Make sure they're flexible. Every single day we're flexing here in the lab, adding to the more list, removing from the less list. But those targeted actions will put that doubt you have in your head right now. I know you're listening to me and you're going, mm, I have some doubt. Go for a walk. Take that doubt, put it into certainty. Improve those skills. Naomi Rose is going to come here in a couple minutes and help you improve the skills on your LinkedIn profile to validate your ideas. There's no reason to not have action because even that small win you want to have today, it's going to build confidence. You know where confidence comes from. You know where confidence comes from. Confidence comes from little wins, little achieving little milestones every single day. Ooh. Listen to this show first day. Listen to Live in the Lab first day. Listen to it today. Little singular wins every single day. Half percent, one percent better every single day builds the confidence. So look for the confidence in small wins. Here's a fact. Doubt is not a sign of failure. It's not a sign that you're doing something wrong either. As a matter of fact, the opposite is true. When you have doubt, you're pushing boundaries. You're challenging the status quo and... And you're striving for something greater. You're, you're pursuing excellence. So if you have doubt, don't fear it. Get curious. Doubt challenges you to rise to it. Surround yourself with humans who choose action over complaining. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. So if you're going to work today, you're going to the gym today, you're hanging out with people that are pulling you down. Maybe today's a day to make a different decision. Choose that action over complaining. All right, enough from me. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go take a look in the lab here. It looks like we have Nicole Bernard. She's back. And we have Naomi Rose Everly waiting patiently. So I'm going to bring in Nicole. We're going to ask her how her... Workout went this morning, and then Naomi Rose, I'll actually wait patiently for a couple minutes, and we'll bring you in, all right? So, Nicole Bernard. Good morning. You made it. I did. I did. Yeah, it was a little crazy. Got up at 3.30. My son kind of tweaked his knee skiing yesterday, so he woke up. So I had to kind of get him back in bed. Then I went to the gym. It wouldn't let me in. I had to wait for somebody else to go in. But it's done. The first one's over, and I'm here. So... <laughs> Oh my God. So Business Alley Nation, Nicole, as you guys all know, joins us from Oregon. She has been exceptional with jumping into this routine with me. Big thanks to her and her family for, you know, hey, so Nicole surrounds herself with people that are action-minded. So Nicole's up at 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 this morning. Wow, she's absolutely a morning show host. So I knew Nicole was getting up this morning to do her thing. So as I said to you guys this morning, I'm like, well, I'm going to get up get going too. So I got up got going earlier today, and then I got a note from Nicole saying, mm -hmm. oh, my God, the gym's closed. I'm like, don't worry about it. I got your back. <laughs> well, what did you do this morning? I just I did my first run of 12. So I just went and ran four miles. So it's four miles every. It's supposed to be every four hours. But again, I'm going to try to condense it, but I'm just not quite sure where that's going to land. So, yeah. I'll be running 48, 48 miles within the next 30 to 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when are you running next? 
you know, probably right after this. I, so I think in my head, I'm going to try to go every two hours until I'm really tired and take those four hour breaks tonight throughout the middle of the night is the thought that I have right now, but that could change. So that's spectacular. So if you're paying attention right now and, and you know, I got to be honest with you, nation, my theme wasn't, I knew Nicole was getting it today, but I got to be honest, the theme of taking action over complaining, uh, it, it actually weaved itself into the dialogue accidentally. If you find yourself stuck today, hey, when we started this show, we wanted to create a show of accountability of uh, your morning alarm clock. To anybody listening right now, you have no reason to be lazy today because you have an accountability partner who's getting after it every couple hours today. And I would invite you to follow Nicole on Instagram, MB Marketing. Is it MB Marketing, Nicole? Yeah, mb.mktg, so just marketing short, shortened, but yeah. So I would invite you guys to follow her on Instagram, follow her stories, encourage her, follow her on LinkedIn, get behind her. We want to help our friend, our colleague. Our, our She's gone on that mission to run that ultra marathon in 100 days, and she's on day uh, six right now training, I believe it is. So good on you, kid. Here we go. Oh, good. We got it displayed in the lab. Thank you, team, for getting that up there. Okay, so Nicole, we have Naomi Rose Everly. Yes. I've got my pen and paper ready. I cannot okay. wait to take notes. Good. So without further ado, Nation, let's bring on Naomi Rose. Hi. Good How to be with you? you again. Good to be with you as well. Thanks for joining us today. I love the new green room. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. It's pretty. It's good, isn't it? I'm going to get some, um, I've got some wood shelves coming, corner shelves to... But I prefer it to the dull color of the clay color that was there before. <laughs> That's so, be better. I have to ask, are you going green because you wanted a green screen to do some cool stuff behind you? Because if you didn't, I'm thinking you were brilliant for thinking that way. I know. It's to blend with the rest of the room because I've only just done these two walls. And okay. uh, we were in the shop and we were looking at, I'm using a freesia pink in the new podcast I've got. So my friend found something in the mm -hmm. shop with Freesia Pink and we put it next to these dark paints and it was like, is it the blue or is it the green? It both worked, but I'm just someone who always goes to the warmer tones. So I was like, we're having green. So yeah, that's why it went green. Otherwise it could have gone blue, but there it's just so fashionable these days to have the darker walls and I just really love them. So absolutely. Because you know, I watch these programs and I'm always taken by the, the interior and, and the way things look. And I'm like, oh, that looks so amazing. And it's all dark walls, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a fashion that's come around again. It was like that hundred years ago, I think, because I get inspiration from period stuff too. <laughs> well, you do, you do live in the world of period pieces. So Nicole, when I had, when I had Naomi on a couple of days ago, I was like, oh. so you live in the backyard of all the big news in the world right now. She's like the news of the world. I'm like, well, yeah, Kate Middleton. <laughs> oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> I haven't got any news on here. I don't know, but I did see the headline. I try not to click on things because it's just clickbait. But I did see that she went shopping with William. So the marriage is fine, that. isn't it? They went <laughs> shopping <laughs> together. <laughs> I mean, they never go shopping together, ever, ever, ever. Like, they send their people for that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I My ambition when we started the show was to have comfortable, comforting, accountable conversation, inspiring conversation. And we're talking about the Royals here this morning, here mornings in the lab with our friend Naomi Rose from, from England and Nicole Bernard here joining us from Oregon. We are going to dig into a LinkedIn profile review, a new segment. I'm Naomi joined me live in the lab a couple of days ago. She broke down my profile and I was like, hey, why don't you join us for a morning segment and let's make this regular to see who joins and who jumps in and, and, and gets engaged with us. Yeah. So Nation, Naomi Rose is an expert. She's been doing this for a couple of hours. She just started two days ago. She's just done my profile. So if you don't believe me, joke, joke. She's been around for like, I think 1500 11 years. <laughs> oh, 11 years. Oh, I thought it was 1100 years. So she's been 11 years before Christ doing LinkedIn profiles. So she's been around a long time doing them. Today, she's going to bust down, tear down and improve Nicole Bernard's LinkedIn profile. So I think to do that, Naomi, I'm going to slide aside, going to give you guys a screen here. Naomi, why don't you, why don't we do a share screen? And then why don't we dig into that? But before we do that, why don't you take a quick second to introduce yourself, introduce yourself to the audience, talk about your experience, the books you've written, and I want to make sure the audience can find you when they need to find you because you're the expert. I am. Do you know, I just need to reach, I've got one of them in front of me, I just need the other two. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Naomi Rose Everly. I have been right, reviewing people's LinkedIn profiles now for the last 11 years. 
I started off as a life coach myself, made every single mistake in the book. And I can tell you it was absolutely every single mistake because I wrote the book. <laughs> so that was a, a reflection on what I had learned, what I didn't know. And it was, it's very much about things that when someone's qualified to stand on ta- stage and teach you, they don't teach you these things because it's now second nature to them. So it was really amazing to have captured that at that time. I then went to work with a lady who was selling marketing help for coaches, which is what everything I needed to learn and everything I needed to learn. Eventually ended up taking over that business. And then I got headhunted to work with my friend's business, which was selling LinkedIn training to small businesses. I found my, I came into the company and I said, let's do a LinkedIn profile review for people. And I found myself repeating myself all day long. So I wrote my book, What to Put on Your LinkedIn Profile. And I wrote that actually after I segued out to come out of the company uh, because we were in partnership with LinkedIn. Bert Redonk, his book was being given away to all new employees at LinkedIn. And one day we were coming out of their offices over in Ireland, heading back to the airport. And I just said, I don't understand why you keep making me sell LinkedIn training to small businesses when they're offering all of their big accounts to us. Surely that's where we should be putting our attention. And with that, the company changed. Um, my commission structure changed, everything changed. And I was just like, do you know what? My heart is in the small business, you know, from having that background myself and um, having been on the key person influence course with Daniel Priestley, all of it was very much centered around the individuals. So I said, let's stop. Let, let me go do that. And I set up the profile company, which was nine years ago and still offer those LinkedIn profile reviews. But about 18 months into it, I started bringing the strategy side into it as well, because I realized that people care about the LinkedIn profile. They need to get it right. But what they're not doing is actually building a solid business behind it. So what I do is I work with people to position them as the go to expert in their business. So prospects come to them pre-sold and ready to buy. And they're the only person they want to work with. And I typically work with people who have hard to, hard to describe subjects that are impossible to Google. And then I have written my book, Magnetize Your Expertise on LinkedIn, which you can see there. And people can actually get a download of this on my website. It's one of the gifts that I give away as in the show notes for this, this with Keith. So yeah, that's, that's my background. An absolute pleasure to be with you again. And yeah, I love it that you let me tear down your profiles. It's great fun. <laughs> No, but but, I, but and what I liked about it too, though, Naomi, and and I, you saw my comment yesterday, day before yesterday, and I'm inviting any collaborator that wants to join Keith and Nicole. Now, Naomi, she took the invite and she she ran with it. Nation, we we sat down and I said, hey, break down my profile. And I woke up the next day and she wrote a post on our discussion, reposted it. So the point I'm making to all of you is we're creating content here. And to those of you that want to guest on the show, those of you have a message for others, those of you that can help others. Take a page from Naomi. She did it right. She joined the show, created some content, <laughs> came back and said, hey, here's how I would make Keith's profile better and share it with everybody else. Now we're going to do the same thing with Nicole. So there's a whole circle here of content creation and so forth. So why don't we get into doing uh, Nicole Bernard's profile, Naomi? And and I know yeah. we've agreed to do no holds barred. So we are, we, are, we are here to learn. We are here to embrace the learning and we want to get better. So yeah. Naomi, over to you to get Nicole's profile better. So do I just press on present sh- and uh, yeah, and then share screen? There you go. Yep. Before we do, oh, I wonder which screen it's going to share. Oh, how about all those other tabs? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do I like record this Let's computer see. screen? Not that <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what you're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> I just entire screen, back screen. No, that's that one. Hold on, hold on a minute. That's all right. He's asking me for the tab. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer from this yeah. screen I've got on Safari. I'm going to bring it to this screen and I'm going to put it on Chrome. And I think that's going to make it a lot easier. Excellent. Yeah. Well, while Naomi's doing that, I'm going to, today I'm going to continue. So my designer has been doing some, been caught up with a few other activities. She's going to sit down with me today. We're going to fix up my profile today. I got to, my feature posts to get better. Before we say goodbye today, Naomi, I want to I want to touch back on the comment on the uh, the fifty million dollar sell. I know you had a comment here that you know you, you know you said I can help swag this. That's that you have some more to say on that. So we'll come back to that in a few moments. Mm. Let uh, we'll continue with with digging into Nicole's and and Nation Business Athlete Nation LinkedIn Nation. You want to get your review? You want to get your LinkedIn profile reviewed? DM me or DM Naomi. We're gonna do this weekly. We want to create a segment here to give you free advice to help you be better. Yeah, absolutely. Great. So yeah, Nicole, nice to be meeting you. We haven't met before. So this is the first moment and I'm going to tell you down. 
even though I, I build you up, I do build you up. <laughs> Especially someone who's running all of those miles in 48 hours, my goodness. <laughs> right? Yeah, don't tear yeah. it too much. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to say, because it is on the screen, and I think you can probably see it yourself, Nicole, um, you are second degree to me, and I'm glad that you still are for the demonstration purposes. Your photo isn't there. Um, Why? This is something in the settings where you've limited it to just people who are connected with you. Um, so that's going to be my first top piece of advice is to go and take care of that. Um, and it's on the screen, it's glaring at you, and you're probably like, why is my photo not there? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, does it default that? Because I've never, like, set it to that, so that's um, interesting. No, yeah, it can do. It could be that you set it. I mean, we we set these counts up so many years ago now, it's hard right. to, to know where we originated with stuff, isn't it? So, Nicole, the first thing I want to ask you about is your business. What is it that you, because obviously it's marketing and social inbound strategy, but tell me a little bit more about it and what you're looking to create. Yeah, so I, well, it's funny you ask that because I'm kind of in a, I don't know, not like diverging, but I've had a done for you marketing agency since 2016. So mm -hmm. I provide done for you services to small businesses around the, around the world, really. And then I'm also kind of branching out into a done for you, done with you model. I really don't like the word coach, but mm -hmm. small business owners do need help and coaching. So I have a marketing course that accompanies kind of a one-to-one -one coaching program as well. So I'm kind of right in the middle of really releasing that. And I have a podcast host as well. Okay, cool. Excellent. And who's your ideal client? Mm, small business owners that are frustrated with marketing or not sure where to get started with their marketing. Okay. Bricks and water or service-based people? Either. I've never Either. niched down. So. Okay, cool. Because there is quite a difference between the two and it is worth saying mm -hmm. so. So the first thing I'm going to mention to you is I, just as you were coming on today, I actually clicked on the thing here, be your own marketing agency. And that popped probably the thing that you're now talking about segueing into. Would you say this is this reflects the course and everything you were just telling me about? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, great. All right. So what I'm going to say there straight away is because be your own marketing agency is going to mean something once we've figured out everything else mm -hmm. it's probably not the right hook to have on there because if i'm a small business owner i'm not trying to be a marketing agency so mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't resonate but once you've qualified it for me with everything else you know the title on the website probably could work very well i'm sure you thought about it in depth and you know your clients so i'm sure that does work but right there, you've really missed something because it just doesn't make anything happen. Okay. Um, if I can be really honest, <laughs> straight yeah, to the point. Totally. <laughs> so what we need there is a hook of some sort to to bring it in. And also because you've used the champagne glasses and then you put the champagne glasses with the podcast host, my initial thought was I'm going to click through and your podcast is called Be Your Own Mar um, Marketing Agency. Is that mm -hmm. true or not true? No, that's not the name of it. And if you can see my profile picture, there's also champagne in the profile picture. <laughs> champagne is good. We like that. But can you see how the brain can connect two things yeah, that you didn't really mean totally. it to? The next thing is, is because the background, the whole of LinkedIn's profile is white anyway, your um, background really isn't giving much context. It's not really setting a scene. Because your website is actually really colorful, it's got live photos in it, you know, you've got those nice graphics across the front. I would go with something like that, where the so the visual brand is connecting the two together. And it's also setting a scene. And it's also the photo you've got, you know, of somebody with a coffee and a glass, which not a mug. So this is a very retro place we're going to. It's very hip and cool. And then obviously she's working at a table. I mean, we this photo, you know, they say a photo speaks a thousand words, right? Mm -hmm. um, it really does speak to your ideal, your ideal person, somebody who's running a small business, they're going to chic cafes, and they're doing things on the run, they're moving around. So this graphic does it. But let's get this graphic onto your LinkedIn profile because, again, it's instantly going to set context and have people identify and go, oh, that's how I work. If we're talking to more of a corporate person in corporate teams, we would go with a photo like that because that would be like, oh, yeah, that's that's my environment. That's you know, so there's that identification straight away. Now, there was something in the questions I asked you where you said done for you or done with you. 
I think that we need to play on that much more because you know you see how you you know to explain it to me that way because I'm going to get it really quickly verbally let's let me get it really quickly written down Mm -hmm. because when I see if I were to meet you in person I look across the room and I say oh that's a nice looking lady Nicole she looks friendly I'll go over to her so I come over that's that's your photo I come over and say what's your name Nicole Barnard oh nice to meet you and what do you do and you would actually tell me relationally what you do and so your headline needs to be the same mm-hmm. because you are literally replicating meeting in person. So I would get that into your profile. Also, founder, we can get rid of it because unless you founded a company like Keith that sold for lots of money, a founder of your own business, when it's obvious it's your own business, is just a waste of space. It doesn't really do anything. Mm-hmm. If you have 20 employees and a really good concept that people know about, founder, absolutely. We want to know where you sit, that you're the creative one. So for now, until all of that happens for you, let's take that off. I would keep marketing strategist in there because it goes with done for you. And I like the mission bit. I think that's good. If we're going to say that, we definitely need to qualify that in the about section I'm not I'm, I'd have to navigate away to see if I can find that but I'm just doing it from the share screen at the moment mm-hmm. and probably something with your podcast host I mean it's great to be a podcast host but it's more about what's in it for me like so what's in it for me is what's the podcast about and would I want to listen to it is more mm-hmm. important yeah. so that's you know we want to get down to that so then when I am scrolling down your screen, which I just checked that's happening yet, you're seeing me live screen scroll, so that's good. I'm gonna jump, well, firstly, you've got lots of um, content and it, actually I've only just spotted it and I've been on your profile for a little bit, but this entrepreneur, that's actually very credible, isn't it? Because that's the entrepreneur magazine mm-hmm. that you're a contributing writer for yeah so that's really important and it's probably something people want to copy they want to be the same as, and do the same so that's good but I'm going to say once you because you've got your service and you've got your website with your course and everything I'm actually going to want to see here some branded stuff that matches mm-hmm. so I'm doing a route in to finding out more and again it's just that brand that's landing Again, that visual connection. And I probably want to see your photo in it with a branding background and something. What's in it for me to go through this? So Mm -hmm. these pieces are nice that you're creating that content and the entrepreneur thing works, but also it's 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 not using the features section at its best. And of course you can scroll through. So let people scroll through and find those things out later. Because at the moment, when I get to know how amazing you are, I do want to know how you run 48 miles in 48 hours. I do want to know that. But right now I'm in a position where I don't care about you because I've just found you on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. I probably wasn't intending on clicking on your profile today. Somehow I've got here. And the questions I'm asking is what's in this for me? Is this a good use of my time? If it's not a good use of my time, I'm going to go. And what's in it for me is why do I want to know you? And I'm not being rude. It's just that you can't walk down a busy street and talk to everybody. We we ignore people. We have to. Mm -hmm. Um, So we want to get people's attention. So these things are nice when people are getting into the relationship with you. So keep them. But let's make the first three that are visual. Let's make these branded pieces that tell me how to engage with you. And really bring bring in that that what you're actually offering. So do it yourself um, or done for you and your course. So I'm thinking your course would be the first one. Done for you would be one and done with you would be one. Because mm-hmm. that way we're we're giving the options away and it's really colloquial. It's, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. And I can choose my path, which one I'm mm-hmm. going to go for. And then I'm going to come down to your experience. I, I will confess, I had to Google what a fractional, a fractional CMO. Yeah, was. I need to take that off. I haven't updated this obviously in quite a while. So that will be removed soon anyway, because okay. I'm not quite doing that anymore. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it doesn't matter if it is there because you could put one of those lines and do something extra yeah. that defines it and it can speak to two markets that way. What I was curious about here was why is there two entries here and they're actually quite similar? So I would really focus on pulling this into one. Mm-hmm. The times when you would do two or three, like I've got two or three, is when you want to split up your message. I do coaching side, I do the, these freebies and I work with this very targeted market that I just need to appeal to at the moment because they're coming to me. So you can have multiple things in there, multiple jobs, but make sure they're saying something different. 
And the way to look at these 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 job entries under your company and all the other entries is that they are actually like window panes. In every window pane, you've got the opportunity to get someone's attention and say something interesting and useful that will draw them into trusting you, knowing you and liking you and wanting to work with you. Is this all landing okay with you so far? Yeah. So, yeah. I've got lots of notes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And you've got a recording, which is good. So what's going to happen is, and we'll go through your about section in a minute, but what's going to happen from your about section is I'm going to learn about you. I'm going to learn about your philosophy, your approach, da, 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 da. But you're not going to get really specific. And because of that, there's going to be a level within me that's like, does she actually do what I'm assuming that she does here from what I've just read? Mm -hmm. So this entry needs to absolutely land it. I work with and I do it this way and also the size of business as well. So you want to define what the company actually does in that first bit. So at mb.marketing, I work with small business owners who are, and I think you had some words above actually, who are busy delivering the business and, and feeling overwhelmed by their marketing, not knowing quite what to do but never giving anything enough of a push to actually see success from it. And I think probably that really will resonate with people that there's so many options out there that they could go for. They give one a try, then they give another one a try, and then they get another YouTube thing and give that a try. But actually they just get distracted delivering all the time because that's it's the same as with people I work with. They're not marketing experts and they never want to be. They actually want to be delivering transformational results or exceptional products with exceptional service. And I would perhaps use those words as well, exceptional service and exceptional products, because that is actually a massive part of their marketing anyway. And it is what they want to do. And perhaps you don't want to work with anyone who doesn't say that, you know? <laughs> um, so, and again, so that sets a criteria for who should come through your doors, mm -hmm. but it also says I'm with you. I'm partnering with you. I get you. I see you. I want this for you. And then also that you know that they get distracted because of that. But then they pick up one strategy, then another strategy. And what they need is actually someone to say, I'm an expert at this. This is the strategy you should use. And I'm going to be the one to put the push behind it and do it for you. Mm -hmm. So when we are in this bit, we just need to define that. Right here, we need to say, this is who I work with and this is what I do. I do a done for you service and I do a done with you service. What I would then do is you can either use capital letters or you can go and get some fancy text off of one of these websites to make it stand out mm -hmm. is I would break it down into two paragraphs or two sections and do a description about the done for you and a description about the done with you. And again, we're writing this from the perspective of what's in it for my uh, audience. How would they be able to work with me? Can they see themselves doing this? Because then what we're going to do is put your your call to action, which is to have um, a diagnostic with me. We never just do a call to action, like a free 15 minute chat or a fit, an hour consultation. We never do that. We have to have something where we're moving people forward so we can do an assessment with them. We're in control of the conversation. And this is all stuff that I teach people and get prepared before I write someone's profile is what are you actually saying on that call? How are you eliciting the information that you need from them to know if they have the problem that you solve and to know if they need your solution and how to pitch the solution? So you need something there which is like, oh, yeah, I really want to I really want that something mm -hmm. you could charge for, but actually you're giving it away. So it's like, oh, I must come to that trust and credibility your your show up rate should be really high and um, because they're, they're really keen for what you've offered now with this if I'm not going too quickly <laughs> um is what will happen is is when someone reads how I can work with you the two different services that you're offering and now they've booked in for that diagnostic call what will be happening is the person will be thinking can I see myself working with Nicole? Can I see myself putting budget into this? What would working with her look like? I'm, I don't know what that is. And they'll retrieve from their brain what they've read. And mm -hmm. as they're doing that, they'll be evaluating it and thinking it through and going, I could see myself doing that. Oh, but could I? And they'll have all their own objections in their own head. And they'll, they'll start to either talk themselves out of the objections because they want the result, or they will come loaded with questions. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, they will be much more primed and much more ready for a conversation. And more than that, ready to say yes and make it an investment. 
Whereas when someone comes in cold and they don't know what you're offering and they don't know what the structure of this conversation is going to be, they've got a lot of unknown stuff that once you've answered all of that, they've they've timed out like, whoa, that was everything I needed. Whoa, that was too much. Mm-hmm. They're not in a position to make a phone and uh, make a decision to purchase from you. So we need to we need to tell them this stuff up front. So they've had that conversation with themselves. They book in Monday for a Thursday call. And they're talking to themselves and talking themselves into it. And so now it's just like a chemistry check and those deeper questions. And you as an expert are asking questions that give them the trust that this is the right product for me. They're not just like just selling something because that's their job and they're supposed to. They actually will turn me away and say no um, and sign me, post me to something if it's not the right um, opportunity. Does that make sense? Yeah. Totally. I have a question for the about section. Is there like a specific word count that you have found Mm -hmm. people should stick into or does that vary? Um, Not found that they should stick into. It is 2,600 that's available. You've got to think about what's this in in this for me and can it get too long? Mm -hmm. So just to stay on this bit for a second, that's what I recommend with your MB marketing. Here, put the title of the podcast next to it so it stands Mm -hmm. out more. And tell me a bit about what episodes, you you, you know, your best featured episodes, the titles of them, so I can see if mm-hmm. I want to come and listen. Tell me for getting guests and stuff, how many people, you've done it for five years now, this is huge. Tell me about your uh, exposure with it, like how many people listen to it, mm-hmm. um, all those different kind of KPIs that would make somebody go, I want to be a guest on this show. Yeah. Um, and then do a thing, if you'd like to be a guest, I'd love to hear from you, um, email me at this and, and Tell them what you want to know about them. So it's more engaging. And yeah. I can actually put some so rich content media there, again, with that branding so it stands out, so that I visually can connect it when I'm seeing it on Spotify or anywhere else. It's a visual connection. Oh, that's that's the thing. That's what mm-hmm. we're doing. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then with these other companies, let's go through them and talk about what you learned and how you learned it in order to justify and back up what you do now. So mm-hmm. this one's good because it's actually got some people in it. But then again, it, it's just sort of, it's bringing that story forward and that belief system that you have around how it should be done and why, demonstrate mm-hmm. it through what you're saying there. The only people that read that are those who are about to buy or those who already have bought from you and are having buyer's remorse going, what should I do? And they need that reassurance. So it is worth putting time into that. Okay, so, awesome. Good. Right. And I've still got you. It's a lot I'm throwing at you right now. (laughs) So then when we come up to here again, remember, people are not interested in you until you become relevant to them. So we could go with I help business owners get more traffic because, okay, great. That's what I need. But let's really ramp up this kind of you. I, I really feel like this could be the one for you. Like you want to deliver exceptional results, deliver transformations exceptional results and exceptional service but really set the scene really let me know that you've heard me and you see me Mm -hmm. by saying that I mean you've kind of almost there with it but you're kind of reminding me of all my problems oh I can really let you down a burden now do you know what I mean I really Um, (laughs) and it's absolutely true that is all of it but let's not associate oh yeah and I bet oh you're just reminding me I'm gonna go do that now <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So let's 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 have them look at the outcome, the future goal. I do want to deliver exceptional services, exceptional service, and exceptional products, and that is where I want to be. And actually, I do get knocked off course, and there is so many different ideas coming in. I'm never confidently committing to one, and I'm never confidently doing one because I'm not good at what I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, good at it, but I'm not. And you because you and you might have a one liner. Where it's literally on its own says because you weren't born to do marketing. Right. Marketing is I love that business yeah mm-hmm. and I said, no I wasn't oh, thank you <laughs> so then we say and this is where I help I will come in and do xyz and da, 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 da. Um, and then we want to do I've been in marketing for 20 years I started off at uh, Microsoft as an intern see how I said that quite quickly not with their newest product one note I fell in love with, but I couldn't actually when I read this I fell in love with both the creative and the strategic side of marketing made me then go one note's not a marketing tool. What's she on about? <laughs> so there's a way of writing that, which makes me mm-hmm. go, oh, that product. Maybe if you mention the product, which is good for authority, you might want to tell me how quickly it launched and the results that were the team got with that. Mm-hmm. 
And it's achieving this success. I fell in love with the creativity and success, strategic side of marketing. And since then, I've worked. So large corporates, let's let's actually name them because it's an authority piece to say so. If there's any startups that are household names or almost startup names, let's say so. Again, we're non-profit. We don't want to overlist, but we definitely want to kind of like nail it down a little bit more. And across the globe is good to simplify and streamline their marketing efforts. And then what you've done here is gone back into the frustration and the problem. I wouldn't do that because now we're moving towards the outcome. Mm-hmm. Um we might want to put some belief statements in here because there's so many people who do what we do that it's good for people to see how your approach is and maybe a little bit about let me think so we've gone this is your frustration this is your this is how I help this is my credibility I would probably go with something like I've seen firsthand and some results actually I think results mm-hmm. there the type your ideal client there because you've mentioned other size companies now let's get some types in maybe you mm-hmm. could even that is actual I don't always recommend this but you could do it as quotes and make sure that quote is really concise working with Nicole she was always on time blah 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 I mean we achieved all these results no we achieved xyz in yeah. this amount of time. do you know what I mean like be really precise with it because people aren't reading they're scanning right and once yeah. they finish scanning they'll choose to read and if we're dotting around with the emotions because you're, emo- you're you've got people going emotionally in one direction coming back to you going in emotionally and then back again and I felt like I was being tossed and turned in the tumble dryer. <laughs> I've never said that before, but actually that's how I felt. And then we're lucky it doesn't have to be this way. We have your solution. And so again, we've gone back into the problem. So it's really just leading through people concisely through. And then what we want to do is the call to action with that diagnostic and what it is that you're going to be offering people. And then also you can put your course in there as well. So I'm launching a course. DM me if you'd like free access to the introductory or the launch something or other probably a, a standing product we've already got that leads people into buying it and um, then it's always there yeah and also put your course in the in the mb one as well so yeah so you can see there that it's never just about linkedin profile it's about your packages it's about your call yeah. to action it's about your sales oh. structure how you structure your sales call um, all of those different things so yeah that's my rundown yeah thank you yeah i have a whole page full so i'm excited and i almost like went like when keith told me it's gonna happen i was like i'm gonna go update it but then i was like no no i think i'm just gonna wait yeah (laughs) so thank you (laughs) yeah uh numerous thank you for doing that and i gotta as i was so i know you did mine a couple days ago and i was very much listening and observing you do nicole's here and as i was listening to you speak it's clear to me there really is a proper way And, and i know that sounds so obvious and cliche but I was really listening to you clearly speak to Nicole as you listen, as you, as you spoke to mine and you're very formulaic in how you break it down. And I love that. So anybody who wants to have their profile reviewed, come hang out with us, come hang out with Naomi. She'll break it down. Naomi, if you do your profile correct, you don't need a resume, do you? No, no. Like well, really? you're applying for a job, but. <laughs> no, no, but, but, even, but even still, I would argue that in a world of chat GPT, mm. which just anybody can make a resume these days, yeah. if you've done your LinkedIn profile exceptionally well to, to the degree that you would approve it, stamp by Naomi, mm-hmm. and I was applying for a job and I took some time to build my personal brand up on LinkedIn, more than likely I do not need to take that extra step of creating a resume because I'm saying, hey, Naomi, check out who Keith is on LinkedIn. Would that be sufficient, do you think? Well, I'm not in the jobs market or recruitment and I stay very far away from it. So this yeah. would just be an opinion. Sure. When you're applying for a job and you've got to get through the AI bots that decide whether your CV can go forward, you've got to right. put keywords on it. So yes, I would say that you would need one. But if you're building, if you're going for a job based on building relationships and within your network, mm. then again, it's, you know how I said, I looked across the room and I saw Nicole and thought she's nice to talk to you. What's your name? What do you do? And then I sit there and I talk to you for a few minutes. That's your about section and your current experience. And if I was interviewing you for a job and I heard about all your past jobs, then that would be all your experience entries. So actually it replicates rep- replicates in interviews when you're actually talking to someone. But if you want to get your foot through the door and the other route, then you would need a resume. Um, right. And they, they might need it for their files as well. So I can't really speak to that. But but, in but terms if, you're, of, if you're taking the time to do it properly right off the bat with your LinkedIn, it's going to make your resume much easier to do when you're ready to do it. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, to young people, I wouldn't say do this because you are really setting yourself out as an authority, incredible in your your new industry here, and saying this is how it should be done. If you're a young person, you don't have enough experience to have stick your feet in like that, and actually, it would be very off putting to an employer which is obviously very different from what we're doing when we're selling our expertise, because I'm actually hiring you because you have that expertise. Mm. Because I want you to tell me what to do. I want you to be the director of the show. Um, and in my book, Magnetize Your Expertise, one of the things I talk about is how you've got the gig economy and you've got the expert economy. And the gig economy is come and do a function for me, do exactly how I tell you to do it, get the job done. And if you want to, don't want to do it tomorrow, I can replace you with somebody else. Or if you don't like how I, I don't like how you've done it, I can replace you with somebody else, which is like actors on the stage. It really doesn't matter if it's Meg Ryan or Jennifer Lawrence playing the, the lead role. It's a blonde lady who can act. But when it comes to the creativity and the directorship and the style and the pace of it, that is actually very unique to the person, mm. and the director. So when I get put in charge of a project as an expert, you have said I want it done your way and I can't easily be replaced because you don't have the skills to manage me. Do you see what I mean? Like you can't, act, you can manage actors, but you can't actually manage a director. And I, as experts, we can't actually be managed because I don't have the knowledge to know how to manage you. I just have to trust you and glean from you and do what you say. So there is a difference in how you approach. And so a young person doing this would just, they would really put an employer off you could be really careful how much you would do it in that balance. Well, good thing, Nicole, I'm not having changed mine yet because I'm the young person between us, Nicole. So Naomi is just, I'm, <laughs> thank you, Naomi. So I will make sure I do not overdo my, my, my LinkedIn profile. I don't want to offend anybody from the 52 year old here. So, but, but you, you are an expert and you're not applying for jobs. So I, and, and you do need to go on and on about your 50 million. So yeah, <laughs> the sale, 50 million is sale. Please do not go and rob this man. I'm sure he doesn't have it in his bank. <laughs> oh no, no, no. You no. do? Well, oh, I'll be friends with you. <laughs> when are you going on that yacht? <laughs> <laughs> Naomi Rose Everly, the LinkedIn expert, the LinkedIn profile expert here joining us morning in the lab, just broke down Nicole Bernard's profile. So if you're joining us here later on in the show, I invite you to come back in halfway through Naomi, I dug into it, broke it down. The goal here is to do this weekly. So please let us know you want to sign up, join the show, break it down live. The best way to be accountable is A, to do it live. And then C, you're going to get some free help from Naomi. And then D, we're going to support you as well. And then E, all the letters in the alphabet. You're going to get publicity from this. You're going to get awareness from this. You're going to be recorded and respond. You're going to get a lot from this experience. Naomi, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no worries. Can I tell you one thing about I put in the private chat Absolutely, thing? yeah. We were doing a great job earlier on talking about action and imposter syndrome. And I was like, geez, should I share what I was up to this morning? Because yes. <laughs> I was having a right moment. Yes. And I just got a cough once. I just changed my settings so now anybody can see my picture. I just, I'll throw that in there. Oh, good. Good. Let me refresh. <laughs> See, there was, yeah, it was actually a setting, which is good. Let me refresh. Oh, how do I? The LinkedIn expert. There she is. LinkedIn. Okay. There so I'm just going to say one more thing. Yes. Um, <laughs> Nicole, because Link, that, that, that circle is so small, and mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to recognize you. Can just you just feel like you are really far away and a long walk mm -hmm. away from me. So really zoom in, like really, really close. Um, yeah. Because then that feels like you're less than two meters away from me and I'm talking to you as a person. Mm. Whereas right now you're talking to other people on a seat and I'm like, oh, I'll wait approach. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? okay. yeah. <laughs> I hate my, I hate pictures and videos, so I'll have to find one that's more yeah okay thank you yeah you put that champagne glass just so you know i've been on so since we started this gate together i've been on nicole for pictures and videos too and she's been really awesome at grit i got a whole stack of them somewhere but i'm still waiting <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what i was going to say to you was again with this credibility piece and why should i listen to you mm. you were saying some really really important things about action and da 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 and it can just sound like oh yeah yeah of course i know that when i'm hearing it but when you actually say, hey, I am Keith, I built a business and I sold it for 50 million and I achieved all of these things, now I'm really going to believe what you're saying. So as well as putting on your LinkedIn profile, I would also be inserting it into who am I and why should you listen to me? How is why I'm saying not a load of fluff, but actually I, I truly believe in this because I've done it. So you, thank you. So you mean that as I'm articulating my message, as I'm communicating, like I did moments ago, 
your recommendation is as you're listening to me not to be afraid to drop that into my messaging because you're going oh yeah. i see i see why i'm listening to him because he's done this before he's not just spitting rhetoric so i would put it into an intro when you come on hey yeah. i'm keith and i'm doing da 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 we don't actually know who Keith is and why do I care. It's still going on for a yes. lot of people because you're just another person, right, at this moment. But I would come up with that very fast intro. I'm Keith. I built a business. I achieved this. I did da 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 da. And I'm here today to help you do this. I care about you in this way. And I'm, I'm here for you. I want to do this. I'm bringing my energy to this. You can ask me these questions. I hope you show up every day. We're here at this time. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. So now I'm like, whoa, I want to hear this person hang out with him. Right? Yeah, okay. And also, you could throw in there, your, they say that your av- your wage will be the average of the five people you hang out with. So hang out with me. That's, a, that's, that's going on here, right? Yes. So then the other thing is, is when you, and this will link to, but I would be more in it, when you're saying, hey, and I would go back and listen to what you said, because it was really, really great. Thank you. But without landing it in, who are you? It's just... <laughs> You can do it. You can do it. Come on, let's do it. Like, right. Oh, okay. Who's you know? this? Who's this guy? Right. Yeah. Put context around it, and your words will mean way more to me, because I have learned these things about you. When you were saying them, oh yeah, that really means more to me than the fluff we see everywhere where everyone's saying it. Do you know what I mean? I do. Um, I do. And even I would even go as far as every time you do like today's was choose action over complaining. Instead of just saying all those things, tell me a story. Tell me a time when you were complaining and you chose action and you changed your results. Because people will remember that story. And when they remember a story, they remember you and they'll come back to the show. Yeah. And they'll be like, I've got to hang out with Keith every day. Naomi is exceptionally awesome, Nicole. I'm telling you, Nicole, if I met Naomi before you, I might have had her as the co-host instead of you. So I'm just telling you. Just- I think I'm your weekly guest now, so that's okay. <laughs> awesome, Nicole, under the bus here this morning. Nicole. Come back to the show. People are ripping apart my LinkedIn profile, laughing at my lack of pictures. Now my co-host is telling me he wouldn't have selected me. She's like, what the hell am I doing here? It's true. <laughs> yeah. I get up at 3 a.m. <laughs> I know what got her here is I found an article. So I'm glad you called it the entrepreneur thing now when you were reading her thing, because that's what drew me to Nicole. What mm. drew me to Nicole when I met her is I read an article in Entrepreneur where she ran 48 miles in 48 hours. And I'm like, who's this woman? I got to meet her. And that's what drew me to her. And then as I kept trickling in, I'm like, I like this person because she's, she's drinking the same Kool-Aid I am. And so when you called that out on her profile, it struck me that that I'll use the I'll use a plural. We haven't Nicole hasn't done a good enough job of accentuating that wonderful asset, like that that mm. an attribute of hers, right? Like yeah. that's that's what draws people in. And actually, what I would say there, because it is going to get pushed back that's when you put your things in, I would do a paragraph on more bullet points, actually, similar to what you've done, Keith, where it's like some like, some things you need to know about me or some like, things about me. I ran. 48 miles in 48 hours and and bullet point them because it, if it resonates with people like Keith and Keith the kind of people you want to hang out with then you know it's it's those things that are gonna like draw people in so yeah I would I would do that um, awesome. there's something else I was gonna say but I can't remember what it was <laughs> one last thing for me now I mean so I I I, I, a, I appreciate your comments I love them and I'm listening and I'm learning and I'm taking them in I will admit I've always struggled with with talking about that part because it's I I I'd like to think I'm a humble human being. So talking about that achievement of, of selling the company is it's I've had to learn how to do it in a, in a, in a way that is, I don't want to be off putting. I don't want to offend people. I, I really want to come across as like, cause I'm just, I'm a blue collar dude that has worked hard and, and okay. is- that's, that's good. Use that. So I'm a blue collar dude that came from this upbringing. Ah, uh, yeah. So I put my mind to a business grafted over 20 years went through milestone milestone like yeah yeah i see what you're saying the the crash of 2008 the the famine of something or other yes i went through this 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 so i've got five snippets and milestones external that i had to keep going it might be the death of somebody you know like but i kept going and came to the point where 
and I, and I sold the business for 50 million. And I'm with you today because one day I received a phone call that said, you no longer, we no longer want you to be yeah. part of the company. And I became an Uber dad to my kids. And I thought, what do I want to do next? Actually, what I want to do next is motivate you to achieve the same results as me. Cause I know you can do it. If I can do it from my grassroots of, you know, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. State, wherever you were, you know, like put the context of where you came from so that when you say Uber dad, and I was like, what am I going to do? Actually, mm. I just really want to show up with you guys because yes. I know we've all got it in us. And I've met so many people that do this, 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 and put themselves all down. And, and I don't, and I just don't think, and I just know what it means to have an accountability partner. I know what it is to hang out with the right people to, you know, but so many people were so isolated these days. We're working from home on our computers. We just don't have that, but Hey, I'm creating it right here. Yeah. That's exceptional. Wonderful advice. Naomi, thank you so much. That's okay. The bill's in the post. That's okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Nicole, anything to wrap up today? I know we've gone into overtime today. So anything to wrap up? No, that was awesome. Thank you, Naomi. Yeah, I like I said, I have a ton of notes. I'm excited to edit a bunch of things. So thank you. You, yeah. know, you know what's great about this too, Naomi, is, is my goal here is to have you back weekly. So now I have yeah. this like, so Nicole, we got to get our ass in gear to click to fix our profile so that next time yeah. Naomi comes back, like I'm, I'm not getting shit again. I do write people's LinkedIn profiles for them. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so. But I usually, I, I do do it. I'm just going to say, I do do it within a package because yes. we do have to sort out what is that call to action? What are we saying on that phone call? What are the packages? Who's the audience? Who's buying? Where is that audience hanging out? How do they make a buying decision? We've actually got a lot of decisions to make behind it to get to the profile to where it needs to be. So I do a coaching package that figures all of that out, gets them to the LinkedIn profile. We then get them started on LinkedIn, at which point I say, this is the right lead generation strategy for you, evaluating it all. This is where you should put time and money into. And then I go find them an expert that will actually help amplify all of that. So maybe that's YouTube, maybe it's podcasting, maybe it's just doing LinkedIn bigger and better. Maybe it's speaking on the stage, whatever that is, I go, we go and get that expert. So like I was saying with Nicole, that they can put, they can get someone in on it to do it for them or they can do it themselves, but they know where they're putting their money and they know that if they stick with it, that they haven't just thought, oh, I'll do that today. That sounds like a good idea. Would that be yeah. a good idea? It's like, no, we know that's a good idea. Do everything to get results there and give it hundred days, give it a year, give it two years and get results from it and don't deviate from the path. And a lot of time people just need the confidence that that's the right thing yes. that they should be doing. Yes. Um, because if they don't have the confidence that's the right thing they're doing, they're gonna go elsewhere. That's right. And try and this and then try that and none of it will ever work because they, they never stuck at it long enough. Awesome. All right, Naomi, thanks for joining us today. We're gonna, uh, we're all gonna say goodbye here. We're, we're, we're leaving. We, we gave you guys some overtime content here this morning, mornings and live with Keith and Nicole and special guest Naomi Rose Everly, who will be joining us regularly to break down the LinkedIn profile. You can find Naomi at Naomi Johnson UK on LinkedIn. Uh, you can connect her through me or Nicole as well on LinkedIn as well. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Keith and Nicole back here mornings in the lab, and we're gonna end it. Nicole, Naomi, Bye. we'll see you guys later. Okay, hang tight. Hang tight, both of you while I say goodbye. Hang tight. I'm going to hit the end of the street here. Boom, boom, boom.